Hand carving the stars in your wooden flags with a chisel can be easy if you know the proper techniques. Today I'm going to teach you two different methods, so stick around. What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So let's get started just by going over the tools that we're going to use. I picked up this inexpensive Stanley kit. I got this at Home Depot for 30 bucks. It's certainly not the best kit. These definitely aren't the sharpest chisels, but they're gonna work for what we're gonna do here. And they're definitely a good starter set. Equally as important as the chisels, I've got a good sharpening block here. And most chisels aren't gonna come super sharp from the factory. You're usually going to have to sharpen them anyways. And as we're using these, they're gonna get dull. So we're gonna have to sharpen them regularly. I've got a pretty small hammer. This doesn't have to be anything very heavy doesn't have to be anything too fancy. We're not gonna be hitting these very hard. We're just gonna be using this to help us do the outline. I've also got a stencil. I picked this up on Amazon. These actually came with three different sizes and two of each, and it was only like 10 bucks for these. They're just a pretty flimsy piece of plastic, but they seem to hold up pretty well and they last a while. We've also got a pen just to be able to mark our stars out. And then of course we've got our union that we're gonna end up doing the stars on. And if you watched my video on the rustic flag build, you probably saw that I was using this lazy Susan to hold my union and uh, move it around as I was carving. And what this actually is, is just a bar stool that I just installed a flat piece of wood on top. I ended up customizing it with my logo. Um, but this is a good height for me to work at. And it just allows me to move the union around without having to reposition myself or the wood. All right, so let's just get started by laying out a few stars. So we're going to go over two different styles of these today and the first one that we're going to start with is just a flat bottom one and we're going to start by using this square chisel and we're just going to trace out our lines with that. I'm just being very careful to make sure I've got this lined up. I'm not hitting it too hard. And now we're going to switch over to this angled one. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm keeping my angle very low, almost as low as I can. Uh, not necessarily until the handle hits, but it's going to be a very low angle. And I'm kind of following along with the point on one of my lines here. So again, I'm just going to stay at that low angle and I'm just kind of working along this line and making sure that I don't go outside of it. If I'm inside a little bit, that's fine because I can come in from the other angle and clean it up if I have to. And I'm just kind of working the chisel back and forth to cut through those fibers. And then eventually that piece will just pop right off, just like that. Now I can come through at this angle if I need to. And since we outlined it, it's going to want to naturally only cut the fibers and break the fibers that are within our border that we made. It 
It's important to take this slow, keep control of everything. You don't want to slip and have this get away from you. Imagine you were doing a 50 star union and all of a sudden on your last one, you slipped and put a big gouge in your, your uh, union that you were doing, you'd probably be pretty upset. So like right here, I'm running into a little problem where those fibers don't want to break. And that's just because I didn't get deep enough there. And I can just take the chisel and press down and it'll cut those right off. All right, and how deep you go with this is really up to you. I've gone probably about a sixteenth of an inch. Let's do one more of these and not go as deep. And I'm going to do it from a different angle so you can get a better view. All right, so again, we're going to start just by chasing our lines here. I know it may look like I'm being a little awkward here, but I'm just trying to keep my hands out of the shot so you guys can really see what I'm doing. All right, and now we've switched over to our angled one again. I'm just slowly easing up to that line where I know it's gonna break. See how nice and sharp that came out of there? And I didn't even have to go all the way into that corner. All right, and on that one, we just kind of removed that top stained layer of wood. So it's definitely not as deep but it still gives a nice effect. All right, now for this last star, we're gonna do one of our 3D ones. And again, we're gonna use this square chisel and we're actually gonna use this for the whole thing. So we'll start out one last time, just following our outline. We can go a little bit harder this time Now that we've got our outline made on this star, what we need to do is kind of make a center point. And we're going to connect these points of the star. And now we need to chisel those lines. And when I do one of these, I'm going to hold my chisel at a slight angle. This, again, we're using this flat or square chisel. And I want the outside edge to be deeper. And I actually don't really want it to cut much at all in the center.
And you can see here, I'm perfectly square and I'm tilting it so it angles towards the outside. Alright, so you can see now we've got the outline of our star and then we've got that shape that we just made connecting the centers. Now when you're starting out, if it helps you, you can draw a line that connects that center point to one of the points of your stars. And what we're going to do is we're going to stay along that line and I'm putting pressure towards the point of the star and I'm holding that down and I'm gonna pivot in. So I'm holding right along that line and I pivot along the sharp point, this sharp corner here, and I cut that little piece of material off. And then I'm gonna just turn this a little bit and I'm gonna work along that angle that I just made and I'm just going to slowly work up to this line that's in the center of the star. All right, and I'm not removing a ton of material, just enough. All right, now I can feel that my chisel is getting a little dull. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this sharpening block that I've got. And you can see just a couple swipes of sharpen it right back up. So I've got my chisel in that sharp corner and I have, I have it lined up along that imaginary line that we made and we're just going to kind of pivot it down. And cut that piece of material out. Once you get that first one cut, it's a lot easier just to follow it all the way around. And you can really see what angle you need to hold this at. So there we are. Uh, like I said, this really isn't that hard to do. It's really all about the technique. Once you learn that technique, you'll notice that you're able to knock these out a lot faster. I really like doing the stars with a chisel. I actually like it more than the Dremel or any kind of rotary tool. Um, even the pencil ones, they really kind of wear on my hands a lot. Um, and you may think that using the chisel is going to be, you know, a whole lot of manual labor, but you really aren't having to push hard 
when you're using the hammer, you're just barely tapping it. So if you're noticing that you're getting a lot of hand cramps when you're using a rotary tool, try the chisel out and you may find that you like that a lot more. And after a little bit of time, you may find that you're able to do it even faster. I'll put a link in the description for the different tools that I used. I'll even put a link in the description for the bearing that I use on this stool, just in case you have to replace the one that you get. Um, because you may pick up a bar stool that is meant to be at an angle and that plate will actually be angled and that's not gonna work for what you're trying to do here. So as always, thanks for checking out the video. I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate all your guys' support and I'll see you over on this next video.